Well, praise the Lord, everybody. Welcome again to Coffee in the Word. Listen, I want to talk to you just a little bit today about walking the faith walk, living the faith life. In Galatians 3.11, the Bible says, The just or the righteous shall live by faith. That means everything we do in life should be an action of faith. Faith means we're trusting in God, that we're looking to God, that we're going to rely upon God, that we're putting ourselves in His hands and believing that He's going to get us through. In fact, faith is so important. The Lord Jesus told the disciples, in Mark chapter 11, verse 22, to have faith in God. The Amplified says, have faith in God constantly. That means continuous faith. That doesn't mean you have faith just when you need it. That means you have faith all the time. Now, somebody says, well, if I'm going to have faith in God, what, what, what do you mean have faith in God? Well, Hebrews 11, 1 says, now faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. In other words, Faith sees the things of God and says, I believe I can receive that in my life. And I'm going to use my faith to take the things that God has and bring them into my life. I'm going to take my faith and receive what God has for me. That means this, faith looks to the end. Faith looks to the result. And faith doesn't just start, faith finishes. And I think that's where a lot of us are getting defeated. From the time we see the thing that God has for us, and things that Hebrews 11 1 talks about, is it could be, you know, healing is a thing, uh, your needs being met is a thing, peace of mind is a thing, you know. These are all spiritual things that can manifest in this natural realm. And so we begin to look, God, I'm believing you for this peace. I'm believing you for this finance to come in. I'm believing you for these bills to be paid. Well, you know, we start off by seeing the thing. But you see, faith doesn't just start. Faith is to finish. Faith is to bring that thing into this realm, is to bring it over where we actually have it in hand. Faith is never finished until you have what you're believing God for. In fact, Mark 11, 24, Jesus said, whatever you're praying for, when you ask God for it, believe you receive it and you shall have it. In other words, my faith isn't done till I have have it. And here in 1 Peter chapter 1, I, I was amazed as I, I was looking at what the apostle writes. And beginning in verse 3, he says, Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. Now listen to this. Who according to His mercy, abundant mercy, has begotten us again to a living hope through the resurrection of Jesus Christ our Lord. In other words, he says, thank God we have a living hope, a great expectation because of what Jesus Christ did for us on Calvary's cross. Through the resurrection of Christ, we're redeemed and we're brought into the place of God's favor. Hallelujah. And then he says this. He says that when Christ raised from the dead to an inheritance incorruptible and undefiled that does not fade away reserved in heaven for you. Somebody says, well, there you go, uh, Brother Huffman, you know, it's all in heaven. Well, God's in heaven. Jesus is in heaven. Everything's in heaven. But thank God faith is your uh, form of currency that takes the things that are in heaven and brings them here to this earth. Right now, if you need healing in your body, healing's in heaven because Jesus is the healer. But faith can believe and receive the healing from Jesus to you. And it will go from a heavenly thing to an earthly thing and manifest in your body. But you have to use your faith to get it. But it's your inheritance. You have a right to it. Then he says this, who are kept by the power of God through faith that the salvation ready to be revealed in the last time. In other words, he says this, the way that you operate with God is through faith. And that faith is to take you all the way to the end of your life, all the way to the fullness of what God has had for you. And then he says this, in this you greatly rejoice. What? I'm greatly rejoicing. That I'm not fighting this by myself. I don't have to go through my battles on my own. The Lord is there with me, and He's given me faith to trust Him and believe Him to get through that thing. So He says, In this giving, you know, greatly rejoicing, though now for a time, if need be, you have been grieved by various trials. You know, He's saying, Just because you're in faith doesn't mean you're not going to be tested. That doesn't mean there's not going to be a trying of your faith. In fact, when you start believing God, it could get worse before it gets better. But you know what you got to do? You've got to rejoice in the Lord, knowing that the genuineness or the trying of your faith, being much more precious than gold that is that perishes, though it is tested by fire. Now listen, may be found to praise, honor, and glory at the revelation of Jesus Christ. In other words, I'm going to praise God. I'm going to stand strong. And though the test and trial is coming to stop me and discourage me, my faith is going to bring glory to the Lord because it's going to get me to the end. My faith is going to get me through this battle, and I'm going to have have what God said I can have. Then he says this, whom having not seen, talking about the Lord, you still love him. I don't know the Lord. I'm never as far as seeing him and touching him, but I love him. 
and says this, though now you do not see him. In other words, I still don't see him, but I still believe. Amen. Though I can't see it, can't feel it. I know the Lord is there with me and he's going to come through. And I'm going to get this, what I'm believing God for. He says, yet believing you rejoice with inexpressible joy, full of glory. And he says this, receiving the end of your faith, the salvation of your souls. In other words, faith has an end. And that end is your blessing. So today, whatever you believe in God for, whatever you set your faith for, don't quit. Don't give up. Don't let the trial discourage you. Don't let the symptoms that seem to linger stop you from knowing that Jesus is your healer, your blesser, and your Lord. Stay with Him. Rejoice in Him. Praise Him. And the end of your faith will bring to you that which God said you can have. So today, just set your faith to the end result. See yourself healed. See yourself blessed. See that bill paid. See that need met. And just praise God for it, even though you can't see it, even though you can't feel it. You know God is doing it for you. And that's how you live by faith. So today, release your faith. I'm standing with you. I'm going to believe God for you and with you that your blessing is going to come to you and you're going to have the end result of your faith. Amen. Pray this has been a blessing to you. Until the next time, I'm praying for you that God's very best will be yours. Amen.